guess what this is. This is the Windows Vista backup and restore utility. It's a great solution for backing up your files. It's about the only good thing in Windows Vista. The kind of built in this functionality before Leopard and um, as you know the backup feature on OS 10 is called Time Machine and it's really good that they built in this feature so here is the interface you can get to this by going to control panel which I'll go to now and then backup and restore center um, I'll just see if I can find it. I've lost it. There we are. On the first row, back up and re restore center. Um, as you can see, I have scheduled backups. Now, I want to have a few words about backup before we start this. Um, Basically, there's no point backing up to another partition on your hard drive because if the computer gets zapped, then you've lost the data on the two drives. Backing up to one of the hard drives inside your computer is not a good idea and it's not a good way to back up, okay? Have I, have I made that abundantly clear? Um, so... What I'm basically going to do is click backup files and then UHC will pop up but you can't see it under the video layer of this video because of the screen capture. So I'm going to click continue. And, and then it says, for me it says file backup is running um, because I've already set this up, so to show you what you'll see when you click backup files, I need to click change settings, but you click backup files, um, and then uh, I'll just click change the backup settings so I can show you what you'll see when you go to do this. Um, so automatic backup should be turned on so it should say turn off um if you if you don't if you don't see this just go into change settings and then you'll be able to do it from there um we'll just wait For this to happen here, well, I'll just kill the backup. Um, so basically, what I'm gonna do is click um, turn on like you will. And then I'm going to go back here and then I'll see what you see. And then I'll click continue. And then I don't know what. Um, what I'm basically gonna do is kill that and we'll be back in a minute okay so I can now see what you'll see when you click on
Black Ops files. Um, so, unless you have a network drive to back it up to, which is also a very secure solution, you'll just select the drive and click next. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to back up on another drive inside my computer, but as you know from what I've told you, that is not recommended. But I'm just doing it f for demonstration purposes. So here we go. Um, here it gives you the option of what you want to back up. I highly recommend the documents in email because that's where most people have important documents. And I recommend the additional files. By the way, I'm not sure if this is available in Windows Vista Home Basic, but I have Home Premium. By the way, if it's not available in Basic, it won't be available in Starter either, so just keep that in mind. Um, so I'm just going to click Next. Oh. It will then ask you how often you want to back up, so I'm going to do it. Um, daily um, and let's say I normally have my computer on at lunch times so I'm just going to click 12 o'clock noon again this is for demonstration purposes um, and then check the box and then click save settings and start backup and it will start your first backup this will take quite a while but it will it will benefit you if your computer computer breaks and you lose all your important files. So thanks for watching this episode. I'm just gonna stop the backup now just for demonstration purposes. But I will be doing it to my external hard drive later. Um so yeah. Uh, let's just stop this video right now and I guess I'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching